Hello everyone, it's Rai and I'm here once again to create another amazing tutorial. This time we're going to be taking inspiration from American Horror Story Coven. We're going to start blocking our brows with the typical method of the glue stick and we're going to use the Miron Mineral Finishing Powder to set them in place. And we're going to start with the star of the tutorial that is the Mayron 3D Gel and we're going to start applying a small thin layer all around our face and before it dries make sure you make those like cuts and bruises to get that burn texture around the face. I don't know if you guys remember the show, but in the show, Cordelia, Sarah Paulson's character, has an accident and someone throws acid and it lands on her eyes and some part of the cheeks, so we're gonna be recreating that. So make sure you don't forget the eyes, the lids, the brows, the nose, everything. Go crazy. Keep applying the 3D gel until you get that desired burn texture. Make sure the gel is dried before applying anything else. Make sure you apply a little bit of powder to the gel to remove the shine from it. And even though we're burned from the face, like we still need to look pretty. So we're gonna apply a little bit of primer to the remaining part of our face. Then we're gonna go with a little bit of foundation because we want our skin to look flawless. And start blending to perfection and with the remaining foundation in your beauty sponge make sure you go all over the gel to give it a more skin color and even though we had an accident we still need to look snatch so we're gonna contour and since it's a cream we need to set it with powder contour Don't forget to contour that jawline to make it strong and sharp, the neck, and don't forget to set the rest of the face. And now the fun part is going to start. We're going to start coloring the gel. We're going to grab our bruise wheel and we're going to start with the color red first. With a small detail brush, we're going to start coloring the holes or the scars that you made. Then. After you apply it with a brush, make sure you tap it with your finger. That way it's going to look more irritated. Make sure you get every single like hole or scar that you made. Remember that detail is everything in SFX work. And don't forget to tap that paint to give it the, a more irritated look. Keep applying the red paint and make sure you tap it to create a irritated look. Detail is everything guys, remember that. Now you're gonna go straight with the red paint around the eyes. Now, using the same brush, you're gonna go to the deeper red color and start adding a little bit to the same parts you added the red first. Make sure you tap it, that way it's gonna look more realistic, it's gonna look like it has more depth to it, and go crazy with the color. As you can see, it looks a little bit more realistic. And you can stop right here if you want to because it looks so good. But for me, I'm going to go for a more graphic, gory look. So I'm going to start adding a little bit of blood around the eyes and on some of the holes or scars I created. And now we are done with this tutorial. 
I really hope you enjoyed and liked this tutorial, and if you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to Mehran's YouTube channel. If you decide to recreate this look, make sure you tag me on Instagram at rye underscore FX. See you on the next one. Bye, guys.